Hi folks, this is Red Wimbat coming to you with another Red Spit Time story. And I suppose it would be only fair to start at the beginning. The first time I ever heard of Mr. T was he was in a bouncer contest and he won. He was supposed to be the bouncer of the, I don't know, the United States or whatever. It was a, I, th I thought it was a national event. But that's the first time I heard of him. <laughs> Later on, uh, he started getting parts in movies, bit parts and stuff like that. And he moved up to Lake Forest. And uh, at any rate, to get to the point, uh, this was somewhere in 19, it was in the early 80s, probably 83 or 84. Um, he was coming down uh, Well Street uh, from the north side of Well Street. And it was a summer day. He was driving his Rolls Royce Cornish with Top Town. And uh, it was a loud uh, reddish orange. And he was just covered with gold, gold rings, gold chain, big gold medallion, and big nuggets of gold. I mean, he was loaded with gold. And he had that Mohawk haircut. You could, you could miss the car and you couldn't miss him for a mile away. But anyway, uh, for some reason, the top was down, like I said. And for some reason, uh, a couple of thugs from Cabrini Green, which was only two and a half blocks away from me, uh, got a hold of him. And uh, they kind of worked him over pretty good, but they still, the, the reason they, they went after him was to take his jewelry. And they took everything. I mean, absolutely everything. Now, it was on the news that he was robbed, as it was on the news when he cut down the, uh, the trees in his Lake Forest uh, a state that he brought up in Lake Forest. He didn't realize there was a city ordinance against it. <laughs> so he made the local news. But anyway, uh, it was a funny thing to see. Uh, I actually thought he would get the best of them. Um, he didn't really put up much of a fight, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, he looked better on TV <laughs> than he did in, in live person. But uh, I called the 18th District uh, over on Chicago Avenue. And uh, they sent a squad car out, and they took a report and everything else. And I really didn't, uh, I had a lot going on that day, and I did, really didn't stop and talk to him or anything else. He wasn't severely injured. All he was, uh, all he did was, I think he just gave him, gave him the jewelry. He finally just said, that's what you want, take it. But uh, it was insured. And so... Uh, that's my story about Mr. T. <laughs> uh, it was an interesting, uh, I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. I, I'm going like, it was like the time Frank Schweiss got beat up. I go, eh, you know, can't believe this is happening. And everybody on the street thought the same thing at the time. But I hope you enjoyed the story. And uh, as you know, I've written a book, or some of you may not know. It's Nobody Cares and What I Did About It. And um, it's about the outfit. It really doesn't cover Mr. T. Uh, I threw this in there for you guys at request, <laughs> the ones that did request it. But uh, it's available at redwemet.com, autographed to you at redwemet.com, or the shop button on my page. Nobody cares in what I did about it. It will be autographed to you. Otherwise, you can order it at any other uh, Create Space, uh, Amazon, uh, it's on Amazon Prime. You can order it through any bookstore, any place you want. But it's the same price if it's autographed to you. If, I, if, you, if you order it from my shop page, page or Red Webet, it'll be the same price. But uh, there's some interesting stories in there. A lot of people, uh, I've gotten a lot of nice feedback, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are uh, uh, very nice to be out there. And there's some that aren't. <laughs> but... You know, you can't have everything your own way. <laughs> so anyway, that's my story for the evening. Thank you, and God bless you.